This is the quarterback that we're going to be facing in today's episode. It's the NFC Championship episode. We're going to be facing Caleb freaking Williams. 23 out of USC. Superstar Dev trade. Ratings crazy good. He's ninth best ranked quarterback in the league. Drake May was the 10th. So we're <laughs> getting a tougher quarterback here. Uh, the abilities certainly don't make him much easier uh, to, to, to handle. I would love for Bryce Young to also have some abilities already. But that's not happening. Callum Murray is the backup here. Dylan Gabriel is also a backup, and Tyler Porter is here as well. I don't really get the uh, get the setup here, but whatever. A running back Tyler Algier is injured, joining from the Falcons. So Will Shipley will have to do the heavy lifting. AJ Dillon as a solid backup here. Fullback Kyrie Blasingame. The wide receivers Rondell Moore 2589, Marquise Brown 2887, Michael Wilson 2585, DJ Chark and Jalen Darden. DJ Chark, of course, a former Panther, uh, and these receivers just super, super solid options. Very fast Marquise Brown, look at this, 97, 96, 97. Very agile. Trey McBride, 92, the quarterback out of the 20, uh, the <laughs> tight end. Out of the 22 draft, uh, Luke Fant, that's a rookie, and Elijah Higgins, 24 and 74. Uh, the offensive line, TJ Humphreys, 31-82, Cooper Beebe as a backup, that is a solid setup. Joe Dooney, 32-96, that's a, that's a very, very good player right there. John Gay is the second. Center, Mitch Morris, 33-85, Hunter Nurzad as a backup. Uh, Will Hernandez, 29-85, Alec Anderson, right tackle. Paris Johnson Jr., 24-94, and Darren Kinnard. This is a very, very solid offensive line. The defense, as we know, Dante Stills, 25-79, and Florenzo Fadakasi. Uh, left edge, not crazy looking, but very dangerous. Uh, Charles Omenihu on the right edge, 28-81, and Clayton Farrell as well. We've got Tommy Togiai here as a backup. Michael Hall Jr., 22-82. We've got Mikai Wingo and Fraven Reese. That's a rookie backup. Super solid front three, very dangerous for us. BJ Ojulari, 23-86, Amari Barno and Tariq Smith. Amari Barno, formerly, of course, of the Panthers. Left out uh, linebacker. Uh, is set up very well here. Own Popo, 24-86 midline backer. And CJ Hicks and Trey Walker on the midline backers. And Zayvon Collins on right outside linebacker. Uh, Chris Braswell, just sort of the icing on the cake. 23-83, and 83, almost as good as Zayvon Collins. But the linebacking group also fantastically well. Everybody in the high 80s or mid 80s. Uh, the cornerbacks, Jarius Sneak joining from the Chiefs, 28-90 freaking 5. Chidobia Woozy, 30-86. Garrett Williams and Mick Robertson starting Thomas the fifth. Chidobia Woozy, is he joining from the Bengals or am I confusing this? Let me just check this out. Yeah, Cincinnati Bengals. All right. A really, really crazy good cornerback room. I like this. Free safety Jalen Thompson, 27-91 and Kayla Carson. Jalen Thompson joining from where exactly? Coming from a longtime Arizona player. All right. Buda Baker. Sonahawk, X Factor, 29.98, and Jarvis Moore, strong safety, Dragon Kesich, and uh, Rigoberto Sanchez as the punter. So how do we how do we tackle this? How do we approach this game? Very much the same way we approach um, uh, the games where we just need to make sure uh, that, of course, is going to be defend the short pass. That is clear. Uh, fatigue level 96. You can see everybody is looking good apart from Brandon Dorius. I don't want to risk injuries, which is why we're going half pads. Um, I don't care about progression right now. I really just want to make sure that we have the team fully fit, uh, that we don't pick up any more injuries. Blitz counter does make sense here. It does make sense because we will have we will have our work cut out for us. Offense, same thing. Uh, we're still missing Joe Farmer. We're missing Lindsey Rainey. So I think I will will have to backfill here and there. Um, CJ Green usually is pretty good, so I think I'll leave him on left guard. Um, but I'd really like to have Lindsey Rainey in there, but it's not going to happen. So what can he do? Uh, we're going to leave this as is. Team profile time. Let's see. Again, Tory Horton coming in here. I don't want to train him. I don't think that is necessary. Uh, let's see. What about left? Is it left tackle? Or left guard. Ah, start if trade revealed for Tegra Jabola, so that's good. We didn't have to use those points uh, to reveal him. Uh, Ricky Stromberg. I think everybody's looking pretty good actually at the moment. Is there anybody that I would like to buff just a little bit? Uh, Jemai Troy doesn't need it. Danny Stutzman doesn't need it. Lucas Vaness, that's a no. Um, I think I was looking at Malik Mustafa here. I think he could use some help here. 
regime bets. Let's just make sure that you grow consistently. Uh, we're gonna sack him five times. I don't think that's gonna happen. I honestly don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, let's try four, three plus turnovers. If we get two or if we get 1.5 turnovers, then we get four points. That is at least something. We're gonna go for 20 points or less. We're gonna go for 300 offensive yards. And again, I'm gonna go for the 450. Um, I just think that is something that I would like to try. For the next game, it would be cool if you couldn't change these game plan goals. If they were kind of set as uh, achievements that you need to reach. Um, but of course, I want to have upgrade points and that is why I'm altering them. So, sue me. <laughs> we did not pick up any new injuries in training, which is exactly what I was going for. Uh, so now we can uh, continue upgrading our offensive line just to make sure that we have more and more uh, help, uh, more protection. And that that should be basically our uh, our main focus here. Dumping the points in the offense. Getting better there. All right, upgrade players. Who gets an upgrade? I don't expect too many, to be honest. Um, Jeremiah Trotter goes up to a 97 on the run stopper category. What a freaking beast he is, man. Second best ranked lift as a linebacker. I'm very happy with this pick. I'm very happy with this pick. Um, let me just check this out. Uh, stats and contracts when did we pick him drafted in the second round pick 25 all right i think i'm gonna go, gonna congratulate myself on that one second round is still very high but i don't care that is a that's a big achievement man you see so good he's so good get a player uh, that good in one of the basically not in the first round that's that's a big one <laughs> All right, we go. Kalen Bullock gets an upgrade. Tory Horton also gets an upgrade. Uh, he did pick up a slight niggle uh, last episode uh, in in the game against the Giants, but nothing bad really happened there. So so that's positive. Um, I like his his progression. He's really coming on, along quite nicely. And now enough talking, guys. Let's focus on this game here. Let's focus on beating the Cardinals. They are. Uh, pretty much on par with us, I would say. Their offense is slightly higher rated. Um, defenses are on par. Um, so let's see what we can get out of this. And uh, let's see which uniform I pick. Because this is a special occasion right here. Another game here in uh, Bank of America Stadium. We are the home team again in this conference championship on the NFC side of things. Caleb Williams is going to be the opposing quarterback. He has a lot of very, very dangerous weapons. And the uniform you can see is slightly different to the one we wore last time. Why is that? Well, this is the 2015 uh, option. I wanted to have black, but I wanted to pick something special in air quotes. I did use the black helmet, the current black helmet, because I just really like this one. For those that are purists, you will see that the blue is not exactly the same on the uniform. And on uh, the helmet. But uh, yeah, doesn't matter too much. We're not going to be bothered by that as we prep for this game. And Bryce Young hyping up the team. Everybody getting in here. Ryan Stonehouse prepping to kick. And uh, the Cardinals will get the ball first. Come on, defense. And there we go. Alrighty, there we go. Let's play that moment. Seven yards out. That is very nice, actually. There was a lot going on, and we get the ball super close to their end zone. I was I was thinking, like, all right, let's play the moment, and then there was things happening. Was it a return? Was it a fumble? I think I'm going to read up on that one here. There we go. Let's let's try and get through here. Let's, let's score quickly. Stopped by number 44. Chuba Hubbard. Six quick yards. We're at the one-yard line. Inside zone. Right to left. Is this a clever one? I think it is. Let's go. Let's just break forward into the end zone. In number 18, giving us a final push. Frank Gore breaking into the end zone. Great job by him. Very nicely done. Didn't need a lot. Here we go. I had to press pause because I had to cough, man. That was... Didn't want to didn't want to do that into your ears. <laughs> there we go. Right to left, Tory Horton. He's back. We're gonna try these ones. It's just the 
the option that gives us a little bit of space here. Wow, what a lift here by number 44. Tegri Jubola injured. That's not good. I don't want to have too many injuries to the offensive line. That is not going to be helping us. We just got the start if trade revealed here for him. And I uh, don't want to see him get injured that quickly. So here we go. Chuba Hubbard. Right to left. CJ Green will now be taking over the left guard. And there we go. I really like those a little bit broader uh, shoulder markings there. I also like the slightly faded blue. It's just a really, really nice one. And there we go. Very balanced. Very balanced looking uh, game today. And down below, the Chargers beat the Dolphins. I think that says it all. I think we know who we're going to be up against if we make it to the Super Bowl, of course. Which is something that I'm very much willing to do. Yikes, man. Under pressure, out of bounds. That was coming loose as he was hit. <clears throat> These are the notable inactives. Farmer and Dumani Jackson will be back next week. Lindsay Rainey is out for good. He won't be playing a part in these uh, playoff series here. So let's go. Frank Gore powering forward seven yards. When he does get going, he is very, very good. I really enjoy that a lot. Here we go. Mingo and Washington have got two players out on that left-hand side. And I want I, I have good options. Both are solid. Both are good in the catch. But Daniel Washington, man, look at the size of him. Great, great job here. Catch and takedown. I'm not sure what we would wear uh, if we were to get to the Super Bowl. We might go with something really nice here. Off we go. Finding space. Frank Gore sidestepping, getting the first down. <clears throat> if Chuba Hubbard were to get injured, I think Frank Gore would be my my choice as the uh, starting running back. Tune Davis Price is very, very strong, very solid. He's one of those power dudes. Ah, getting forward. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dragged back here. Buda Baker. Shutting that run down. That was that was decisive, I would say. That was very decisive. Let's go to the mesh spot. Let's try and get him right, uh, right and left. Let's get some confusion going. Tory Horton. Tommy Tremble. There we go. Nice turn it. Get the first down. And Michael Hall Jr. That's the deep tackle, if I remember it correctly. Going down injured here. And there we go. Halfback dive, five yards out, Chuba Hubbard. In the second quarter, clock is stopped, so we're not going to be doing any fine tinkering here. And there we go. Chuba Hubbard, power, 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 and we break inside. Two-minute warning hits us, and we're going to go up 14 and nothing. Defense turns it around again. All right, defense is doing a great job today. I really like that a lot. Right, the 18-yard line, 1 minute 49. Let's get some passes completed. Let's make sure that we just <clears throat> get forward. Nice, nice. Way more than I would have given Darnell Washington here. Great stuff. I'm going to be pausing a little bit, maybe, because of that cough is really... It's uh, pretty dry in this room here, maybe. Dry air, right? Gun drive, clock ticking, Jalen Polk, Darnell Washington. We've got so many good weapons on the team. Catch and powering forward. Again, taking down here. Jerry Snee, number 38. Coming in from behind. Shut that run down. Tight end angle as we continue our drive forward. I would like to get to around the 30 and then score a field goal to put everybody and my nerves on ease. Oh, Jalen Polk. He had so little time to catch that. Really held on to it. 
8 for 9 today. We're not getting a lot of yardage from the passing today. But better than nothing. Better than nothing. 22 seconds. The clock is taken down. So let's be quick about this one. And he was held up here. <clears throat> Who was that? Was that Stills? I think it was Stills that came in. Kinda slowed him down here. Let's go Redbone. Uh, red Zone. Redbone. Red Zone Halfback Scissors. We're gonna have two rushers. Frank Gore should be available. Let's go. Number 27. Was uh, number 22. Sorry. Was paying attention. Fourth and four. We're gonna punt it. We're gonna punt it now. I am not willing to give it back to them. But it doesn't matter. Just get it out of there. Mm, could have put more angle on it, actually. <clears throat> there we go. Pick it up in the second half. 14 and nothing. Darnell Washington. Terrace Marshall. Off we go. Catch. Ah, I was trying to go forward. Ah, oh, shit. And we go backwards. Backwards and backwards. It wasn't bad. It wasn't that bad on, on, on the initial step in there. But then just kind of got pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. And he's not the strongest, dude. So there's that. Benson Knott and Darnell Washington on the field here. And Benson Knott is free. Very nice. Targeting here by Bryce Young. Very happy to have uh, a quality tight end room here. Nobody below 80. Probably Benson Alton. He's, I think it's 79 or something like that. But if he gets buffed, then uh, we're certainly going to be going to be in the game here. Let's go, Tory Horton, Darnold Washington, Jonathan Mingo. But I think Tory Horton is the dude to go for. Throw, catch, and the space is there. <clears throat> taken down. And that's an injury. After getting taken out by Ljarius Sneed here. Left shoulder. Please don't be permanent. I wouldn't like that. Ljarius Sneed certainly shutting down a lot of the plays here. Catch. And Ter this time Terrace Marshall goes around him. That's need number 38. And he's just kind of ushering him out of bounds at the four-yard line. And that was good. That was good. Just see, sometimes it helps if you badmouth a player. <laughs> now, it was just enough, actually. It's just enough. Sneed here with a shove. Ah, there we go. Very positive play. Very positive play. Wow. Jonathan Mingo's completely free, man. How come? Number 34. He was there. I mean, could I have gone for a different play? I don't know. Let's see. Do we go with a Y stick? Am I making this more complicated than it needs to be? Let's just run it. Chuba Hubbard. Come on, man. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Powering, powering, powering. Two-yard line. Benson all injured. I do hope it's nothing bad. He seems to be holding his ribs right there. <clears throat> He's unhappy. I understand. Tell you what. We're going to go with the gun drive here. And I'm going to be looking for Darnell Washington. I need a solid receiver. Let's go. Uh, that is... Well, one could argue. One could argue that there was contact before the pass. That this was a pass interference. But we're just going to go for it. We do have time on our side here. I don't know why the depth chart here is getting uh, kind of bungled around. I want to have George Gregory in there. Let's go. Chuba Hubbard. Are we going to get denied? Let's see. Let's see. Yes, we are. He just runs into Stills. He just grabs him and drags him down. And there we go. The points. I do hope we're not going to rue this one. I do hope we're not going to rue this one. The offensive line couldn't create the space. Come on, defense. Now they are going to score. Yeah, there we are. 
that was to be expected. It wasn't gonna be. It wasn't gonna be like this all the time. Fourteen versus seven. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Tuba. Let's go. Sidestepy. Oh no. Not against Tuba Hubbard, man. Uh, Buda Baker. Tuba Hubbard did the sidestepping, but Buda Baker just picked up beautifully on that one. That's a nice detail with the Cardinals uh, on the silver uh, color rim there. I like that. I like that rim job. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. I did. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful stuff by Terrace Marshall Jr. <clears throat> He's, he was getting a lot of criticism. And um, I myself never envisioned him as a as the uh, number one. But then again, he's certainly showing us that he can be very, very effective. If you use him right. If you use him right. Let's go. Darnell Washington here, right to left. There we go. Exactly what I wanted to see. And that is Ricky Stromberg. Off into the tunnel that's not good that is not very good bench dig curl time right to left Tori Horton maybe Randy uh, no Randy George Gregory ah I was about to say that cut by Jonathan Mingo was beautiful but then again that slap by Williams was even better dislocated shoulder All right AJ Jackson to take over I hope he'll be back in two weeks. Oh, Chuba Hubbard, man. What a freaking beast today. Again, it's not about the yardage. It's about which plays he makes, in my opinion. That is way more important. You can be an impact player. who steps up when you need him. As opposed to being like a dude that has a bazillion yards every time, which is also good. But it's not like mutually exclusive. It has to be one or the other. No. Look at him. He just, you know, he just gets it done. Just gets it done. Right to left now. Chuba Hubbard again. Second and four at the six yard line. If we score a touchdown, the game is over. I'm saying this. I'm putting that out there. Halfback dive. Here we go. One yard out. First and goal. We've got four attempts to bridge a yard. They're setting up, I don't know, a little bit far back, I would say. But there we go. Michael Hall Jr. with an injury. And Caleb Williams stopped very quickly at the 34. And this is, this is great. All right, guys. Tell you what. This game is over. So, we are now going to be utilizing what I like to call the backup. <laughs> there we go. We're going to be using backups all across uh, all of the positions here um, I'm not interested in uh, getting anybody injured here from my starting players that is not something that I want to see ah oh, Tommy Tremble seems to be injured nice <laughs> there you go Bobby Wagner let's put you in there I don't care Tegra Chibola oh, he can't start twice all right I think I'm I think I'm starting to lose some players here and there Chibola certainly is an important player but um, not on every position right I can't backfill here and there AJ Jackson let's go Brandon Dorius Cameron Jordan uh, I do have a lot of positions where I hardly lose quality when putting in the backups that is a great position to be in a little Mac taking over Bobby Wagner taking over do I have somebody else a mid linebacker Right, that works. Uh, let's put Utica's Matos here. And tell you what, I think instead of Bobby Wagner, I'm gonna use Bo Clark. Just give him some some play time here as well. Steven Nelson, come on man, and CJ Henderson. Damani Jackson will return. That's good. Come on, Kamari Wilson. And come on, Malik Mustafa. There we go. Just going to be checking those uh, third down running back situations. 
I'm gonna be using Robinson for everything now. And over here, uh, I actually think that Anthony Schwartz should be moving in. There you go. I will still have some players uh, using uh, getting reps uh, in, in, in special situations, uh, like special setups. But the base players, I don't want to see anybody get injured here. Second and nine. That's Robinson. Branson Robinson. Zach Wilson with a handoff here. And Robinson, you know, he actually is doing surprisingly well. Surprisingly well for someone as... Uh, as unexperienced as he is probably. That would be the best way to put it. Zach Wilson here. Can we get forward? Zabin Collins. Because injuries happen. It's the NFL. It's one of the toughest leagues. You've got big guys running into each other at full tilt. What do you expect? What did you expect? Here we go. Branson Robinson. Nice. Trying to evade here. Zach Wilson. Do we get him a touchdown? Do we get him a touchdown? Or do we just kind of let it run down? <clears throat> Which one do I like? Let's try this one. <laughs> Bobby Wagner back there. That is hilarious. That is actually hilarious. And there you go. That's another touchdown here. And Zach Wilson scores one. Pairing up with Darnell Washington on this pass. That is really nice. That is really nice. The big guy is stepping in for Tommy Tremble. Gets experience points. So that pass, it looked like a hyper floaty pass. But Darnell Washington got it down, got it under control. And the Cardinals. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's just me, man. And there we go. Caleb Williams still strike back here, but the game is over. Branson Robinson, one final run here. And then we're going to be celebrating the NFC title. And there we go. Clock will be ticking down. I'm not going to be stopping it. No need to do that. And here we go. Coach Dreddy is super happy, of course. As we clinch this game, we clinch the NFC title. Zach Wilson <laughs> celebrating here. Bryce Young did the heaviest lifting in terms of the quarterback, of course. Nah, great job, guys. Well done. <laughs> Zach Wilson. 147.9 his rating, 100%. One touchdown, one pass, one attempt. That's just that's just awesome, right? <laughs> Now, in all seriousness, it was a good game. It was a really good game. Uh, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Chuba Hubbard, again, heavy lifting, two touchdowns. That was very important. Frank Gore, also one touchdown. Carrick Lasingame scoring here. On the receiving side, Michael Wilson gets one. Terrence Marshall was good when I needed him to beat Darnell Washington. Stepped up. That was great. Let's hope that those injuries aren't too bad. Juwan James here with a blocking. JC Horn gets the solo tackle crown. 13 tackles for Jalen Thompson. Jesus freaking Christ, that's a lot. Few tackles for loss. Sacks for Jeremiah Trotter Jr. and Owen Popo. Yes, I know. Travis Hodges Tomlinson with the interception. That's awesome, actually. On the kicking side, we didn't even take one field goal. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. So... We are going to go through, and I think you saw it down below, that the Chargers won. So we're going to be playing the Chargers in the Super Bowl. That is pretty nice. And it doesn't look like we picked up any new injuries. So that is also important because I was really fearing that some would be out for good here. But Joe Farmer returns. Domani Jackson returns next week. Lindsey Rainey will be out uh, until after the Super Bowl. That actually sucks. But uh, we can backfill here. Uh, I don't see any problems arising there. Um, I'm going to be skipping over the Pro Bowl week. We're going to see each other in the Super Bowl week. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, do drop a like. Please subscribe. It means a lot to me, as you know. And as always, thank you so, so much for being here making this special for me. Stay awesome, everybody. And see you next time. Mm -hmm.